General Motors says it is making the first mass production autonomous car without a steering wheel or pedals. The company has filed a petition with the U.S. federal government seeking permission to put the vehicles on the road sometime next year, with no human backup drivers. That would let the firm launch a fleet of robo-taxis, beating off competition from rivals to launch such a service. The location of the service has not yet been revealed, but GM is said to be in talks with representatives of a number of states in America over the plans. What is GM asked for? GM executives said the automaker has asked the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to allow 16 alterations to existing vehicle safety rules to enable the deployment of the cruise app. This includes having an airbag in what would normally be the driver's seat, but without a steering wheel. Executives said seven states already allow the alterations sought by the automaker. In other states, including those that stipulate a car must have a licensed human driver, GM will work with regulators to change or get a waiver from existing rules. The company declined to identify the first states in which it plans to launch the vehicle or say when it would begin testing. The Detroit-based motoring firm's cruise automation unit says the Cruise Ave, a rebranded version of GM's Chevrolet Bolt Ave, has even been designed to open doors for passengers. It will also have other accommodations for hearing and visually impaired customers. What is the driver's seat in the Bolt Air will become the front left passenger seat in the Cruise Air, GM said. Company President Dan Emman told reporters GM had filed on Thursday for government approval to deploy the first production-ready vehicle designed from the start without a steering wheel, pedals or other unnecessary manual controls. GM is part of a growing throng of vehicle manufacturers, technology companies and tech startups seeking to develop so-called robo-taxis over the next three years in North America, Europe, and Asia. Most of those companies have one or more partners. Ford said on Tuesday it will partner with delivery service Postmates Inc. as the automaker starts testing ways to transport people, food and packages this spring in its self-driving cars, which are being developed by Ford's Argo unit. Other companies, from Uber to Waymo, have been testing self-driving vehicle prototypes in limited ride-sharing applications, but have been less explicit than GM in announcing plans for commercial robo-taxi services. GM executives said the automaker has asked the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to allow 16 alterations to existing vehicle safety rules to enable the deployment of the Cruise Ave. This includes having an airbag in what would normally be the driver's seat, but without a steering wheel. Executives said seven states already allow the alterations sought by the automaker.
In other states, including those that stipulate a car must have a licensed human driver, GM will work with regulators to change or get a waiver from existing rules. The company declined to identify the first states in which it plans to launch the vehicle or say when it would begin testing. GM wants to control its own self-driving fleet, partly because of the tremendous revenue potential it sees in selling related services, from e-commerce to infotainment, to consumers riding in those vehicles. At a November 30 briefing in San Francisco, Mr. Emman told investors the lifetime revenue generation of one of its self-driving cars could eventually be several hundred thousands of dollars. GM's prototype self-driving vehicles have been developed in San Francisco by Cruise Automation, the one-time startup that GM acquired in March 2016 for a reported $1 billion, £730 million.